What's up guys, Collector B here. I hope you guys are having a good day. We are almost to 300 subscribers. Holy cow. Holy cow is right. So thank you all to who, uh, to, who has <laughs> subscribed. And to all you who are new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. We do a lot of fun stuff here weekly. And yeah, just thanks for all the support. You guys are awesome. And yeah, as you can see, we've got some really cool stuff today. Um, I was super excited for two of these things. I was waiting for like two weeks with shipping. It just kept getting delayed and kind of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is right now. Shipping's all messed up, but we are happy to get some stuff and we found some other stuff that we're just gonna find out how it is and what's in it. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we've got some gremlins. We've got some more balls for you. We've got big balls here. And then we got some wrestling stuff. So um, I'm gonna start with the balls. We always start with the balls, right? Okay, so <clears throat> if you've watched my channel before, we have done these before. Not this kind, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle edition. Uh, we did the horror ones and the Avenger ones. Um, they're just little mystery balls that you get little things in. Um, I'm actually wearing one from the horror and I'm wearing my Avengers one right there. We got those out of it. So, you know, they're, they're from, I believe these are NECA as well. Yeah, these are NECA. Um, they're kind of like the mystery bags and you've seen me do those as well. Um, just get little, you know, little things that go to the uh, subject that you're getting, like horror or Avengers or turtles. So I wanted to see what was in these. My dogs are going nuts right now. It seems like the last couple of videos, they've just not been happy. So, but we wanted to see what's in them. So here we go. So ball number one. And that's, man, this might have to replace my Bebop and Rocksteady one. It is a TGRI keychain mm. pretty cool i actually really like that i think that's pretty awesome so i was really excited to get this one just because it was turtles um you'll find these by the in the next section by like the casey jones and the super shredders are coming out if you guys can't find those keep looking they're all over at walmart so ball number two and it's magnet why is he going nuts over there so we have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think this is from the first movie. I don't remember. Magnet. So, pretty cool. I like the little magnet stuff. These are like, <clears throat> these are like mystery balls or like if you are really into something, so like TMNT, these are cool. These will give you little trinkets that you can, you know, nothing crazy, but stuff that you can put on your keys, your car, fridge, stuff like that. Um, if it's not something you really collect, like if you don't collect the horror ones, then, you know, don't get that. You're probably not going to find anything out of there you like, but, um, oh, yeah. Yes, I'm excited because I love these things and this one is dope. So another one of these, but just black and green. How cool. This is going to replace my Avengers one. Yeah. I only put the Avengers one on because, yeah, we're going to keep it on for now. But so now there we go. <laughs> Blinging. So that's cool. I've, I've been wanting some of these, so that's awesome. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, it's a patch. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a sewer patch. So kind of cool. Again, I a lot of this stuff I don't really do anything with. Um, I may just give a bunch of this away. The magnets and keychains I do like to keep. I put some keychains on my keys, but um, you know it's turtles. It's, you can't go wrong with turtles. Oh man, see I wish these were tattoos. So you get stickers. <laughs> you get Ninja Turtle stickers. And yeah, I know you guys are probably like really you would put on tattoos. Yes, I would. Um, if they had these fake tattoos like when you're growing up, like oh yes. So you get all four turtles there as stickers that's new though we didn't get any stickers out of the horror or uh, avengers one so no. but we did get one of these and we have did get magnets uh -huh. and stuff like that so i wonder if there's some shoelaces in here that'd be cool mm. all right oh so we got a pin and you know what's funny this is totally like the thing out of the loot crate oh yeah um the what was it was it a i don't remember what it was but that's the exact same raft face out of the loot crate um, I don't remember if it was I a think pin. It was, or a pen, was it a pin? I mean, with him and Casey. So you get a little or pin. I I don't remember. I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere in here. But oh, it's right here. Hold on. Let's see. They're pins. So pins. they're it's separate bigger. pins. So the only difference, and this is what's funny, is this one looks better uh, yeah. because it's not as dark. 
So you get on this, face, this loot really crate weird. pin, but as you can see, that one has two. It's mm. obviously a lot bigger, but so kind of the same, not really a little bit smaller. Um, the color looks better on this one, pretty much the same face. So we have three balls left. So you get nine of these. I knew that was coming. An eraser, eraser. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles eraser. Again, not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. I think I said this last time, I haven't used a pencil in years. This might be shoelaces. <gasps> Bam! Look at that. These are cool. You can have these. Yeah. Cool. So Ninja Turtle shoelaces, they are just like the band I just put on as well. I didn't realize I had them upside down. So that's cool. I'm, I like the shoelaces. So now you got two sets of shoelaces. <clears throat> and last but not least, the last ball. I don't know. Can't get to guess this one. It's another keychain. It's another this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle keychain. So, again, like these are nothing crazy. Um, what are they? They're ten bucks. I think it's yeah. ten bucks. So you get nine balls for ten bucks. <laughs> that's. Oh, funny. we got the other ones um, on clearance. We did, and that's what I was gonna say. Is if you know these aren't something that you really, really want to get because I mean I get it. You're not. I mean again, what am I gonna do with most of this? Not much, but um, they usually go on clearance for like five bucks. So, you know, not bad for five bucks. I, I mean, for me, I wanted this. I want the shoelaces are cool and I really like this. I TGRI figured those TGRI. ones would sell better than the two These probably ones. will. The turtles will probably sell more because it's just turtles. Like the only reason we got the Avengers one is because it was five bucks. So otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, but so not bad. So that's what you get, you know, nothing crazy, but whatever, I like it. I got another one. This is awesome. So, Let's get into the other stuff. We are going to save the wrestlers for last because I'm super excited. But I do want to do these because these are interesting. So, walked into Walmart, uh, went down to the next section, and found these. Now, I don't collect gremlins. These are going to be my wife's. Um, she's been wanting to get the NECA ones for a long time. But, you know, they're 30 bucks a piece. Then they have the two packs, which are like $50. Um, I, we do both really like them a lot, but we just have never pulled the trigger. Well, this is a weird brand. It's... B S T A X N. Um, I've seen a lot of these figures by them, and they make some interesting figures. You know, they got some Lord of the Rings ones. They make Kiss, the band, um, and then they just have a bunch of random ones. And I've never been attracted to them. Never thought they were really good, but these are really cool looking. I mean, these are pretty big for them. And the other thing is, how much were these? Fifteen. These were fifteen a piece. So you get Spike, who has or Stripe, geez, who has twenty nine points of articulation. And then you get Gizmo as 18 points and you get a bunch of accessories for 15 bucks a piece. So that's pretty good when the regular Gremlins go for 30 bucks a piece. Um, we actually did see a Gizmo Gremlin this morning from NECA. And it has almost the exact same stuff in here as it does in that NECA one. Now, I'm not saying these are going to be amazing, but let's see what we get for 15 bucks. So we are going to pop these open. Again, these are my wife's. Which one do you want to do first? Gizmo. Gizmo? I knew you were going to say that. So... Pretty cool. I do like the boxes. The boxes are really cool. Gizmo looks really big. The only thing we have to see here, I don't know if you guys can see, his stomach is separated. So I'm hoping that just pops back into place. Or for another video, we got a bad one. We're just <laughs> not having good luck lately, you know? But yeah, they have... The one thing I'll say about this line, um, again, this is the first time that we're getting anything from this line. Um, they do have some interesting figures that you don't see anybody else making, which is kind of cool. So I've been tempted to grab some here and there, um, but we just haven't. So there's the background, just we're back, nothing crazy. The boxes are pretty cool. I do like the boxes, they're not bad. Um, so it's, you know, they're not, they don't look so bad to get. Where's the cover on this? Do, 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 do. I mean, I'll show him in the box first. So there he is in the box. As you can see, his stomach is a little separated, but he does come with some cool stuff. A tuba, his... Um, that is not a tuba. What is that? Trumpet. Oh, the trumpet. It is a trumpet, sorry. Um, his cross, well, bow and arrow, uh, the marshmallow on fire, the candy cane, and I don't know if that's just like a sticker or what. Let me open this one. My valuables. Wow. <laughs> okay. And he's uh he's a part out of the box too, so that's kind of a bummer. So we'll see. Okay, so well, let me pick up the pieces. So you get alternate hands, little claw hands, which is pretty cool. 
you get the candy cane. Again, not bad. This bow and arrow is pretty cool looking. It's kind of a weird looking, and I don't remember from the movies, but there's the bow and arrow with the marshmallow on fire. Is it supposed to be this way? You don't remember Probably this, this way. I do, movie? but like, I don't remember how his bow and arrow looked. You know what I mean? Is it, was it that shape? Cause it's kind of a funny shape, but it probably was. I don't remember. And then you get the trumpet. Sorry, the trumpet right there. Uh oh. He's broken, isn't he? He might be. He has a ball joint, but that would help if I. No, he's good. Oh, okay. It was... I just was putting him on backwards. Huh. Okay. He's pretty cute. <laughs> So, wow. Okay, so first thing I'll notice, so there he is. Oh, there's Gizmo. Pretty cool. Um, I do like it. I honestly think it looks pretty good. And I do like the size of him for $15. And again, he comes with these accessories. Alternate hands is really cool. Um, there's his side view. And then you got his back view. So not bad. Um, another facial expression would have been cool. The only thing I will notice, and this is what you get because it's $15, his head barely moves. Um, you do get some pretty good arm movement here, which isn't bad, and they didn't break. Um, this is where you're going to lack movement is in these legs. I mean, you can still make him look like he's running, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, his feet do turn all the way around, and the wrists do have some pretty good movement as well. So, I mean, he's not bad, and it's gizmo. Like, do you really need him to be like crazy flexible no. probably not so um i think it's not bad i'm curious how this fits so this is the one thing i don't like though um and it doesn't look bad but oh see he it just it just sits on the top of his head there's not really like it doesn't lock in or anything but it does fit really well it's nice um but it just sits on the top of his head so there's that and you can throw stuff in his hands Hopefully I don't break him. Got that. Let's put the candy cane in his hand. And then... He does stand pretty decent. There he is! Not bad! I mean, for 15 bucks, that's not bad. It's not, again, it's not the NECA ones. You're not gonna have crazy articulation. These ears don't move, which is kind of a bummer. I kind of wish they just made them flap a little bit so you could do different expressions. But $15 and all the accessories it's not bad i don't know how we're gonna pose him with this because i mean his arms move but i don't know if you could really get him in like a bow and arrow stance you know so mm -hmm. um we'll have to play around with that but i i like it i mean for gizmo gizmo's tiny it's supposed to be cute looking i think he'll look good with your stuff too mm -hmm. what do you think about him i like him yeah it's not bad right so there's gizmo with his santa hat alternate hands his trumpet and uh his candy cane and so pretty cool so now we will do stripe i know we kind of showed it already but he looks like he comes with uh two sets of alternate hands possibly um a chainsaw and his skateboard which is really cool so now and what is funny is this one has 29 points of articulation gizmo only had 18 so i'm curious because gizmo's so kind of chunky mm -hmm. and like you know that's probably why um but I do. These are actually pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to pick any others up besides these gremlins because you'll probably get more if they mm -hmm. pop them out. But um, it's not bad. I was not sure about this brand just because most of these don't look that great. To me. But um, not bad. So I right, see. I don't know how to open. It. Okay, just this. Okay, we did it this time. So there is Giz or Stripe in the box and his coloring looks really good mm -hmm. i do like it we also saw him today from NECA as well which those are still all over so if you do want the NECA ones maybe they'll go on clearance they do need to go on clearance i'd buy them if they're on clearance um so he does come with a claw hand which these claw hands are pretty cool and they do have oh no there goes gizmo he is very top heavy but i mean he has a big head so what do you expect so there's the claw hands they do have pretty good motion there which is nice they give you this. I think it's the Gizmo came with one too. I don't really know what it is. It's supposed to, it almost looks like it's a sticker. I think it is a sticker, but like okay. 
who cares? Um, the chainsaw, which the chainsaw doesn't look bad. It's already bent, so it's not just McFarlane who has those issues. Um, there's not much to it. I mean, you can't, like, move it or anything. It's just a prop, so, but not bad. I do like the chainsaw. <clears throat> they come out of these boxes really easy. I mean, obviously, you guys saw me dump gizmo, so. Um, oh. They don't move. They do, but they're oh, they're tight. They don't roll. Mm -hmm. So kind of a bummer there. Um, and then the skateboard has the brand on it, which they should have done something better, like a Gremlin or, or like I don't know something. But yeah, the wheels they they roll, but they're super tight. It's not like the two Ninja Turtles ones. Um, but again, it's just it's with these you can tell these are just accessories. They're not, you know, supposed to be working, bendy. Um, he's He's really cool, honestly. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him to stand though. His joints are a lot looser. He definitely can move a lot better. Oh Lord, then Gizmo. So there he is, there's Stripe. I think he does look really good. Uh, he's definitely probably not nearly as good as the NECA one. I wish I had some of the NECA ones to compare, uh, but I do like him. He's his feet are kind of wonky just because they do have that bend right there but again you could probably put him in some really good poses with that because he is going to bend a lot better so again um nothing with the ears his head moves but man they are tight so you don't get much head movement at all um his arms though have pretty good articulation you can go all the way around with them um, and then his legs, you can see this is where I'm going to snap it. Yeah, you can see like Greninja snap. almost. Yeah. So you get this bend there and then also his um, ankle here is supposed to bend. Yeah, it bends up a little bit. This one's a little tight. Um, so his feet are kind of wonky to me, but you can definitely put him in some cool poses. Like he's, he's pretty bendable. I do like him. Um, let's see how he fits he fits pretty well on the skateboard and then of course you know you could put the chainsaw on his hands so i like him he's actually pretty good um i again i do wish that these ears would move that would be really cool just to give him some a little more expression um an alternate head would be nice but you know for 15 bucks you get some alternate hands and some accessories and there you go what do you think of them I like you them. like them they're pretty cool mm -hmm. so we'll have to see if they make more of those and maybe get the rest of the sets of them. So, pretty happy with that. So, all right, next thing. This is this is my favorite thing, and this is what was delayed, and I was gonna do this last week for you, but just kept getting delayed, kept getting delayed, and finally it showed up yesterday. Yes, thank you. So, we have Undertaker and Kane Ultimates by Mattel. And man, when these pictures first went up, like a while ago i told my wife i was like i have to get these these look amazing uh undertaker and kane are two of my favorite wrestlers ever and i mean just so cool um so when they went up for pre-order i grabbed some and they finally got here so really cool i do like these boxes a lot um the one thing i'll say we are going to open undertaker first because kane is my favorite I really like that they have on the back that Undertaker is chokeslamming Kane, and then they have the figure look, and then again the stats and everything. The one thing I wish though, and I and I get this, people are gonna say, well, that's the ultimate box. Okay, I like this box. I just wish they would do something like really cool, like with Kane, maybe some flames on the sides or something, and just make them a little more unique. Um, again, they do a really good job on the backs, but like I just wanted, I was hoping these were gonna have some really cool boxes, but. Um, they don't, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I do know, you know, like the Hulk Hogan one, they made all yellow, which is really cool. So something really different like that, where the Undertaker is like black, that would have been really cool. Imagine this, if the box was black, that would have been really cool. Um, but that's okay. We're going to pop them open anyways. So I'm so excited for these. These look just so good. Forgot how to open these boxes though, because we usually don't open our wrestling figures, but, um, I opened it wrong, didn't I? But for this, we are for sure opening. Uh, if I can figure it out, I don't remember. Let's just cut everything, I guess. We'll get Kane's opened a lot better. It is from this side. 
Maybe. God, I'm just butchering this. It is this side. No, nope. I don't know what side. Again, like I said, we're just gonna cut everything. Is there tape down here? It's on the bottom. Oh my yeah, gosh. I'm struggling. Oh, there is tape. I didn't see the tape on the bottom right there, so I wasn't sure. And here we go, opens up. Okay, so there's your box again. Like I said, I just wish something better. I do really like the back though. I wish on the back of Kane they would have had him choke slamming or tombstoning Undertaker, but that's fine. So there he is. And, you know, I just got back into wrestling. Like I said, um, I only buy my favorites that I really like, but these Ultimates, they've been doing such a good job. I mean, they're a little more expensive. They're around $30 a piece, but like, look what you get. I mean, you get three heads, alternate hands, you get his big cape, like, just awesome. They've done a really good job with these. I know the Ultimates have been out for a while, but I'm just now starting to grab them, and I'm very happy. Oh, I dropped his hand. So, God, I'm all over the place. So you get these alternate hands right here. I always call them claw hands, but like, you know, Undertaker doesn't have claws. Um, so those open hands there, really cool. You get a thumbs up hand, which I'm, I don't really know why they gave that to Undertaker, um, but okay. And then you get this flat hand, which is pretty cool because you want it's him a thumbs to... down oh is it a thumbs down i don't know it could be it probably is then you get this flat hand so he can choke slam someone that's really cool Ooh. oh that's that's really nice oh okay so this cape well whatever they call it so there it is what's cool is like they put something in the middle of it oh. so you could just stand it up like that if you didn't want to put it on him um but this is all rubber the detail's really well done. And then this is cloth, which is really cool. I thought this whole piece was rubber, but this is like a really thick, huh. well-made cloth. Um, and then, like I said, they do put this little plastic in the middle. So you could, you know, I guess to just keep its shape a little bit, but that's really cool. It's really well done. You can tell like the plastic is super heavy because um, it's obviously just standing there, but the detail is really good on it i do really like it i don't know if i'm gonna pose my undertaker in it because i did like this look but um it wasn't necessarily my favorite then you get the undertaker alternate head which this guy is to me it looks more like um the middle phase of undertaker where he was uh you know in between looking like this and almost on his bike uh, more of a standard Undertaker head. The one that he has on looks more like old school Undertaker to me. But this head is what I was super, super excited about. Now, this is a bummer because he does have a black mark on his tongue. which And a little mark on his head. But that's okay. Um, but that alternate head. So cool. You've got the eyes rolled back. You've got his tongue out. And then his hair is even a little different. different. This is what I do like about these Ultimates is they, you know, they give you a lot of different stuff with the heads. Um, not just, you know, a little different expression. It's totally different. So really cool there. That's probably the head I'm going to put on mine because that was one of the reasons I really wanted this because that Undertaker head is awesome. I don't want to break anything today. So, oh, sick. Okay. Wow, you look so good. Don't break on me. Sick. Dead man walk in. Yeah, that's Undertaker right there. So, there is Undertaker Ultimate. I do really like it. Um, only thing I'll say about his hair is it is pretty much in his face. Um, but that's okay. It looks good. It really, really looks good. I like his outfit a lot. His tattoos, you know, they they always try with these um, wrestling figures to get these tattoos on point, but it's kind of hard, and he's got so much stuff around him that it is a little difficult to get those tattoos, 
uh, especially well detailed, but there's, God, he just, every time I turn him, he wants to fall. But uh, really good details on the costume. I do like it a lot. These, I believe, they look like they move. Yeah, his elbow pads move, so that's cool. Um, you do have really good articulation with these ultimates. His knees bend. He's got the toe bend. He's got ankle. This all turns. His head's a little loose, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not good. So, but we're going to pop this head off. Yeah, his ball joint's just a little loose. That's okay. Let's throw this on. I'm curious to see how this looks. This is going to be difficult. To yeah, I was on. like, how are you going to get it on? I don't know. I'm going to break him trying to put that on. We're going to find out. Yeah, how the heck are you supposed to get this thing on? I almost wish it came on him. <laughs> the thing's stiff. Like, yeah, I know. That's a, you're gonna maybe I'm supposed it. to like take off his arms? Probably. I don't want to take off his arms, though. Oh, okay. No, it opens up more. Oh my gosh. Yeah, as I break. Well, because there's latches kind of on it to keep it together, I'm sure. It's still going to be difficult to get this on. Mm -hmm. God, you're going to snap it. <laughs> okay. All right, that was a little difficult, my friends. And then, yeah, he just has like latches almost, rubber latches to put it on. Okay. All right, we did not break it, which is a huge plus for me. So that's cool. That was pretty difficult to get on though. And this head's going to be fun now too. See, and that's going to be an issue because his hair, huh, I wonder how, <laughs> wow, see, because this is in the way of his hair, so like, I can't even get his alternate head on. I wish this piece almost came off for you to do that. But I'm gonna like bend his hair pretty, pretty good. People are probably like, you should have put the head on first. <clears throat> okay, this is difficult. This is pretty difficult. And people are probably like, you are something special, dude. But let's, we're gonna get this head on. It ain't going on. So I'm having issues getting that head on. There's how the, it looks with it on. This thing, this gets in the way. And like, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to put this head on because his hair doesn't get in the way right there. So that is kind of a bummer for me because I did want to pose him with that head. But this is technically the head that goes with this costume. But... I don't know. That is kind of a bummer. So let me know if you guys got this and you got the what was your your trick to get this on because the hair gets in the way of this back piece and this hair it's out to the side so um, you can get that on. But he does look really good. I do really like him. I'd be fine posing him like this. I definitely think I'm going to throw that head on and maybe change out his hands or something. But I do really, really like this figure a lot. Um, this thing is a pain in the butt, but... And actually, I didn't even shut it all the way. Let me show you the final look. There we go. Much better. So this part has like little latches almost, just little rubber latches so you can make it close all the way. But really cool. He's moving. Oh, I caught him. But yeah, so there he is. So there is Undertaker. I do really like it. Um, again, I got a loose peg, but that's okay. Um, I wish I could put these on with this, but that's okay. It's not bad. So I do really like it. I think he looks very good. So Undertaker, awesome. Okay. But now we're getting to my favorite. Who's that, Allie? Him. 
Kane. The Big Red <laughs> Machine. Kane is my favorite. I love Kane. I don't know why. He has been my favorite for a long time. And this is probably my favorite costume of Kane. I'm not a fan of some of his others. Uh, but oof, when I saw this again, just so excited. I do like this be um, a lot more maybe than The Undertaker. Because The Undertaker didn't come with like any accessories for him to hold or a belt or anything he did get the heads which are like cool and this whole piece but i can't like this belt oh looks great so we're gonna pop this open but yeah if they could have done this box like i mean it's red and black already but like if you could have like thrown like some more black on here and like, some flames or something oh man that would have been so cool just to make them a little different, you know? All right. So there is Kane in box. So really cool. He comes with this cape. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this piece is. And then it's a you lightsaber. Have, yeah, I guess, right? <laughs> then you have alternate hand and alternate hands, or head and alternate hands, and then the belt, of course. Now, um, I don't ever remember him wearing a cape when I was watching wrestling. So this might be something they just made. Um, if he did, I just don't remember. So he comes with a choke slam hand, which is cool. And it's with his glove on, which is awesome. Um, and then he comes with another open hand with no glove on, which is great because he always wore a glove on that right hand. So really cool there. Um, alternate head. I'm going to have to really compare how different they are. So this alternate head looks really good. Um, the only difference I really think is maybe kind of the expression, but it's kind of hard to see the expression through the mask. Um, but the hair is different. And I'll show you when the other one comes out. And he comes with this, which again, I don't remember what this is either. It's a little canister or something. Like, is he from TMNT? I like that's, it's weird. I, do, I just don't remember that. Um, but okay then you have his wwe championship belt and it's the black one not the blue one but really cool i love these belts again i said this when i opened the stone cold these belts have come a long way really cool let's pull out the cape and again oh, there goes a the helicopter can you hear the helicopter again i don't remember the cape being worn by a cane but it's just a cloth cape it is really cool though i i do really like this thing so um and then it just okay cool and then it's just velcro around so this will be a lot easier to put on for me so thank goodness um really cool there oh yeah they always tie in their feet for some reason but that's the only Thing they tie in. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got these, Ringside Collectibles um, got them. I don't think they're in stores yet. Man, I did see this from someone else, and that is kind of a bummer. Um, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. So, oh, he looks phenomenal. I love it. I love it. This is by far my favorite cane I own. He looks really good. I love the costume. Again, this is probably my favorite costume he has. Favorite mask he has. I love that, you know, just the small details. I mean, obviously, he's supposed to just have, you know, the glove and What's then one wrong regular with hand. His hands. Like, why are his wrists so. Are they not in all the, the way? The peg's not all the way in. Oh. This one was kind of funky in the box, too. But that's okay because i'm going to switch out the hands anyways but so there he is again and just really cool the details really good they got the costume really well i think the face looks awesome his hair looks good as well i do think these head sculpts that the ultimates do again like i said are just fantastic really really good and there's the other side view so i love i love this side of his pants they're just my favorite um, one thing I did notice, and I did see this from someone else going over this, is when you bend the arm here, the red comes off. Which, I mean, I get it. They should have painted under there. It's supposed to be a long sleeve, not his skin poking out. 
Um, but you know, that doesn't bother me too much because how I'd probably pose him is choke slamming somebody. So, um, I get it though. That's, that is kind of disappointing. Come on, Mattel. Um, but again, he bends, oh God, his legs a little stiff, but he bends pretty well. Um, I did notice on both of these though, there is just a couple, you know, paint apps. There's just some black on the red a little bit. Um, his face does have like a little black on his nose, but it's nothing crazy that I'm pissed about. Um, here's the alternate head compared to this one. So, I mean, the faces are a little different, but again, it's hard to tell. Kane doesn't have expressions. He has a mask on and then, but the hair is where it's different. This hair goes behind that hair is mostly on the sides and in front. I do really like them both. Let's throw the cape on. See, and I think that head is going to be better for the cape. So let's... I always hate putting alternate heads on, though, because I'm always afraid I'm just going to snap the peg. But, you know, you live and die as a collector. Don't you? <laughs> Do I have this on right? Yeah. So I'm going to go underneath. I probably should have. See, this is where I should have put it on before I put the head on. Oh, guys. Oh, my gosh. You struggle so much. Yep. I do. Okay. We're going to do this correctly. Sorry, guys. Boom, there he is in his cape. And he looks dumb with the cape on. Does he? You yeah. think so? Mm -hmm. He looks like a wizard or something. He is a wizard. I'll take the wizard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I like the cape. I think it's kind of cool. Again, I don't remember him ever having a cape, though. I really don't. So maybe it's just something that he decided to throw in there. I'm good with it though. It's cloth. So I want him to hold the belt in a certain way and it's a little difficult. I don't think he's going to hold it very well, but that's okay. We're just going to pose him like that for now. So there, come on, stand for me, buddy. There is Kane. Awesome. I like the cape. I think it, I get what you're saying. It makes he him look, like you know. He looks like an evil wizard. He is. He you is know, an like... evil wizard. He's Gandalf the evil. So there you go. I really like it. I think it's awesome. There are the Brothers of Destruction. Um, Height-wise, they are about the same. So that's pretty good because they're both humongous. Uh, only thing that's funny is, you know, Kane weighs probably a little bit, a lot more than, not a lot, but a little bit more than Undertaker, but they're pretty both, you know, skinny and about the same. Um... And then there's the back. Oh, I didn't realize that's how Kane was standing. That's no wonder he's not standing correctly. There they are. And there you can see the cape in the back. Really cool. I, I like it. I don't know if I'll pose with the cape. I might leave him like that. I kind of do like it. But, uh, yeah, oh, these are just, these are great. So, only complaint I have is, again, just some of the paint apps on them. And then this Undertaker, it does suck that you cannot really put those heads on. I mean, I'm, get, I'm sure people can mod it a little bit and probably get it on, but that's okay. I am super happy. So we got some good stuff today. Um, I mean, some gremlins, some wrestlers, and some... Okay, he's gone. Just always and dropping ninja, my stuff. <laughs> and some Ninja Turtles stuff. So I love it. Awesome. Let me know what you guys think about these guys. Uh, let me know if you can get this uh, an alternate head on with this or or what do you think about Kane's cape stuff like that let me know what you guys think about these gremlins uh again $15 at Walmart these were ringside collectibles have not seen them in stores yet I would assume they'll end up at stores but we'll see uh really really awesome I'm super excited I love all this so again thank you to all who has subscribed and liked and commented you guys are awesome again we are close to 300 right there so that's cool I'll probably be doing a giveaway here shortly so just keep you know keep watching stay tuned and yeah so that's it i hope you guys have a great weekend enjoy outside enjoy football enjoy just enjoy life awesome so have a good day follow me on instagram link will be in the description below we'll probably do some pictures with these and that's it so again collectors never stop collecting